yeah on that whole point it's like uh you're completely right it's like now we're going into new year it's like 2022 now um and as you were saying it's easy to just kind of get stuck doing the same things and like nothing ever changes i've I've done a lot of calls with people who've been in the same position for like seven years and uh Mm. nothing ever like changes because they don't change their action so i think it'll be really important for you to uh go through that video i still need to make a lot of and improvements and add to it and like go through the whole um vision board process and stuff and think about like where would you want to be at the end of 2022 like over the next year what would you want to achieve and what would you want to have different however out of like reality it may seem um you can write down and like add pictures of the things of like, Oh, like you changing your whole work scenario where you don't have to do the work that you're doing now. And at the end of the next year uh, or in 12 months from now, you'd like to be doing the 3d work that you're doing now for work, you know, and you can add in like what you'd want for your career situation with uh, increased salary or the type of work that you're doing, whatever it might be, how many hours you're working, you can add all that into your vision board. Um, and then you can start breaking things down. Like I break things down from like yearly. So like I've got like a five-year vision, um, then I've also got a one-year vision. And then I also break things down into like quarters, like every three months, and then also like month to month. So you can be thinking like, oh, like where would I want to be in 12 months from now? Um, yeah, that's really good. Um, I mean, yeah, at the moment, I really don't have any plan. That you can good. apply exact same stuff to your life but not just that but also like your 3d work you know like um mm. it's easy to kind of uh, say like oh i like to be a master at 3d like you actually need to think about like what does that look like so it's like if you if you you need to start thinking about like these things practically like oh like if i would want to be able to produce apple commercials in six months that means you need to learn whatever six to eight areas in six months. So you can't spend more than one month learning just like one area, you know, Mm. which means you've only got four weeks to learn how to get really, really good at modeling. (laughs) So then you start to, it starts like really become like more practical and like you start to become like more um, aware of like how much you do need to do and uh, work and stuff like that. A lot of people say like, Oh, I want to change my job and, uh, freelance and travel the world and i want to do that in three months but like there's a lot mm. you need to change in three months time three months is only 90 days yeah. you can't waste two <laughs> days thing because <laughs> then you've only yeah, got exactly. 80 to do that you know um, yeah definitely so That's so true yeah. <laughs> um yeah yeah I, I think i'm just realizing how much i actually need this sort of uh planning like um yeah and uh not just in this stuff but in other parts of my life as well um mm. you know like in the past if if i've uh you know i've i've entered some half marathon or something well i've i've followed a schedule you know training schedule and um um and that's how it worked but um like now i've i've that's dropped off completely and Mm. I'm back to square one, you know, like, and, 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 yeah. uh, you know, the weight starts coming on and all, the, all those terrible things. And, yeah. um, cause you're not following the plan. It's as simple yeah. as that. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, apply this to so many things like, um, like fitness is like the, the best example because like a lot of people, um, they, they become a lot more practical and plan with that. Okay, like I go to gym three times mm-hmm. a week, one hour each yep. session, specific exercises. I eat a certain way. I count my calories. But then when it comes to other areas like business, whatever, family, relationships, whatever, then mm-hmm. it's just more like, oh, like, let's just see what happens and I'll just take yeah. it by the way. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. It's, oh, <laughs> man. And, um, yeah. and then like i'm just the type i end up at the end of all that and you know i'm like just with my hands out like you know what happened <laughs> but yeah. you know you know exactly what happened and um, <laughs> the, the other thing that um i find often with my work is like you know my boss uh like he's a classic for um you know a lot of promises and things yeah. that oh you know you're gonna i'll get you to do this next week and we're gonna start this and you're gonna do that and and nothing happens, you know, um, 
it's just um, time and time again, he's, you know, and you get sucked into that as well because then you think, oh, maybe my job's not that bad or, or actually I'm going somewhere with it or this will equal maybe more pay or something, but, but nothing happens. And um, yeah, so yeah, it's all those things put together. <laughs> and and then like for me that's what um you know will motivate me at like you know 11 p.m at night or you know 5 a.m in the morning or something and mm. you know to see those things on the wall or whatever and then okay okay yeah, yeah i need to keep going with this so, um, yeah it's extremely important because let's say like oh like i want to get really good at modeling in one month you know um if you're only spending like one hour a day, that's like seven hours a week, which is um, like 28 hours for the whole month to like get really good at modeling. You know? Yeah, uh, it's not enough. You could only, you could only realistically um, do so many projects with that amount of time and like learn so much. And that's when you realize like, oh, like I might doing one hour a day might not be enough. I might need to do more because like you're becoming more realistic with it um in terms of the time that you're spending and you could say like oh like i'll just um maybe i'll only spend 30 minutes but then it's going to take you twice as long to learn how to do like modeling and stuff you know um and i'll take you two months one um so yeah it would be really important to like go through the whole thing um of like where you want to be in one year with your finances how much you want to be making the type of work you want to doing what you work what you want your work to look like and then you can start to like uh, start to like really break it down. So let's say uh, this is what I did as an example. It's like um, with like my business, I was like, okay, I want to be. Let's say I want to make ten thousand dollars a month. How many clients would I need to get? How many like uh, calls do I need to do for that? Based on how many of the people I sell, um, how many like emails do I need to send? Uh, depending on how you get your clients, whatever. Like you can really reverse engineer it back down to like what you need to be doing every day i knew how many emails mm-hmm. i needed every week i knew how many videos i needed to post every week um and i knew what to, i needed to do every single day in order to get that and then you can do that and the same with gym it's like if i want to get fit in a year it's like um you need to go you need to work out a certain amount of times a week you need to eat a certain amount of types of macros and things like that obviously getting mm-hmm. coaching like a trainer is going to help accelerate that a lot um mm-hmm but you need to be doing a minimum. You're not going to be able to work out once a month and just eat whatever you want uh, <laughs> and expect things to change. Yeah. No, at least a minimum. So like, I know like, Oh, if I don't, if I skip one day a week, um, just like one, one training session in a week, I already know I'm further away from my goal and I'm just delaying things. I'm just making things harder because mm. I'm not even doing the minimum, you know? Um, yeah. And you can apply this to so many areas and, I ended up having like a sheet on my wall where I said, okay, um, I would like have these columns. It's basically like a, I think it was called like a a performance tracking sheet, which I've actually got in that video where I'd like have all the stuff I need to do for the business. So the outreach, um, depending on what I need to be doing, like did I do my outreach today? Every single day I would have like um, a list of things that I need to do, whether that's okay in my calendar, if I need to send four emails a month, I'll do one a week each, each week I'll do it on a Monday. So on Monday, I'll just make sure I did that. For example, I'll do the same for my health. Um, um, if I need to go out, if I need to do gym three times a week, um, then I would know, okay, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'll do it. And then I'll put that in my calendar. So I know what I'm doing every single week as well. Um, and then you can apply the same thing to, uh, relationships or whatever other areas that you want to work on. Um, you can pretty much work towards those, and you can pretty much just kind of, uh, I forgot to include this, but I had like this war map thing where you have like a calendar and you can even put things to do um, where you'll be doing month by month as well as like uh, week by week and then day by day so that um, you can make sure that you hit your goals. Um, yeah. yeah, that's really important because it's like uh, one is like kind of first you need to know what you want. Um and then it's like breaking it down and just becoming more practical about, um, okay, like, you know, you, you want your vision, like how do you break it all the way down to like what you need to be doing every single day? 
And then that's going to provide so much more motivation and fuel when you need to sit down for an hour and do 3D once you get home because you know that you're working towards this bigger picture and like yeah. it's more a lot more practical in your mind as opposed to like, oh, I'm doing this 3D stuff. Yeah, I'm doing an hour a day, but you don't really see how it all adds up or is put together. Yeah, yeah exactly. And yeah. Uh, yeah, there's times when obviously it gets a bit hard or, or you get stuck on something and um, yeah, you can get those uh, thoughts creeping in about, you know, oh, it's too hard or I can't do it or something. Yeah. And um, yeah, you can easily just, you know, there's, you know, you just want to walk away from, you know, like turn it off or something. <laughs> but yeah. um, no, it's it's so true. But yeah, no, it was really good. Uh, I um, it really made me sort of uh, stop and think, um, and uh, yeah. And not just for three D, but just yeah, a few different, <laughs> a few different <laughs> areas of my life, you know. Um, yeah. And it's a perfect time as well, you know. It's so many times I've just, you know, basically, you know, limps across the finish line at the end of the year, and and then all you think about is whatever holiday something, and yeah. but then works work starts again, and you're in the same spot, you know, the same, yeah. and. Um, and uh that's the problem you know it's a, it's a cycle that just keeps going and yeah um you know i've even noticed some of my friends you know they say like oh man you, you know you're like a broken record you say the same things all the time <laughs> like you know like i've got to do this i've got to do all it's all talk you know and um and yeah i was like yeah no you're right like i am like that and yeah it's no good it's no good <laughs> <laughs> so um um uh yeah and uh but all the time you know i'm looking at um you know the the, the stuff that you know you you the work that you've done and so on and i think man wow it's it's you know it's so good you know and um that's what sort of keeps you you know focused on those things as well like yeah. So um yeah, I'd really like to um I'll, I'll probably end up going over that video again. And um yeah, I, you know, if it's all right, I might show you some of the, you know, my things um so yeah, I'll and, um yeah. put those things together um um so um yeah, it's yeah. it's all related, to, you know. My level of work is completely achievable like um you could easily do that <laughs> like i've pretty much explained it all in terms of like what you need to do it so it's like super achievable in order to like produce the work that uh i need to learn you'll be surprised like it, it may seem like a lot because you you're very uh you might be new to a lot of the concepts and it seems like very mm. far fetched. so it's not like this um super out there thing that you can't learn and uh, yeah. it's very doable to kind of produce the work i'm doing